Marianne Cowan here from Pinery Paper Crafts. Today is Friday, August the 7th. It's my daughter Elizabeth's birthday. So I'm popping on and then she is coming over for dinner because she's in our bubble. So that should be fun. All right, today we're going to be playing a little bit more with the poinsettia dies and yesterday We'll recap yesterday's cards where we did very vanilla with very vanilla. Today I decided to try the same card base but add some color. Hi Fran. And then I have a wow card for the fourth card which you don't see here. So just the commercials before I start. August updates. Reminder that my August class is to go. I have the Christmas gleaming class that closes on Monday and I'll show you the cards. Then I have the whale done, and it closes a week later. Uh, fall stamp camp to go. Those are always fun. Oh, great, Fran, I'm glad you cased it. Yes, cards are so much prettier in person. Um, fall stamp camp to go. Normally I hold these at my house, but they are totally fun. We do 16 cards, and for the fall one, there'll be little treat containers, Thanksgiving and fall grateful gratitude cards. The Christmas extravaganza is again, I think we're doing 14 cards, we're doing six tags and a 3D item and a treat holder. Those, the early bird pricing on those is $65 and it's totally worth it. It's so fun. And I, I do everything for you. All you have to do is stamp the, stamp the sentiments. So if you want information, MarianneCowan.com. Registration links are on my blog. Don't forget, I'm giving a mini trimmer away every month and also bonus coupons. If you earned them in July, it's time to redeem them. Hello, Monique. So here are the cards from the Christmas Gleaming class. There's four cards that coordinate with the different colors of paper that coordinate. So the paper, which is beautiful, coordinates with Knight of Navy, Pretty Peacock, very vanilla and mossy green. So these are the cards we'll be making. There's even little 3D ones. And there'll be 3D card in my fall card class as well. The red velvet is beautiful. We're gonna be doing that today. So you get everything you need to make eight cards. And as a bonus, you get this pack of brightly gleaming foil elements. And then you get an extra bonus two cards to make this card with your elements and you can add your elements to the other cards as well and these are some different cards we made using that set on one of my Facebook lives we were using the very vanilla this was all very vanilla here we added green and gold colored it and stamped on um, old olive and here I stamped, no I didn't, these are very vanilla, and we added um, real red. I was trying to think, there's so many different colors of red. And we added the beautiful ribbons, and it's a really pretty set. And if you're interested in the stamps, the set actually comes with Christmas Gleaming Stamp Set, two punches, and the paper. It's called a variety bundle. I don't think they've ever offered that before, but... I'm offering it for whatever the catalog price is and I pay shipping and tax. So registration for this closes on the 10th, 7, 8, 9, 10, Monday. All right, the ones we made yesterday, I did go back and make sure that they were centered because some of them weren't and I added greetings to the ones that didn't have greetings. So here was this one, it was good to go. So we used all the different types of foils, the metallics from the new catalog they're in the Gilded Autumn suite. They are beautiful. Then we did this one with the specialty, the gold, Forever Gold Specialty Designer Series paper. If you bought one pack of this, you could make 50 Christmas cards. Easy peasy. So this one, we just took um, this element put it behind the poinsettia, and then I went ahead and added some sentiments. I didn't have sentiments on yesterday. Well, I did have all these ones ready to go, but they were too big. It was too big for this card. So I just added the piece 
and happiness and if you have the itty bitty Christmas stamp set it's got great um, sentiments and they're not very big they're itty bitty so they were perfect so I added peace and happiness to that one and then I added seasons greetings to this one and I heat embossed them in gold so those are the three cards we made yesterday and we focused on just using very vanilla and the colors the metallics so today I thought I'd use the same kind of design but we'd add some color so I have velvet foil and cardstock so let's start with the velvet and hopefully I don't run out of glue dots I have some more but I meant to grab them all right for this one we're going to use this square one which is one of the forever gold specialty designer series papers elements for this you get three sheets of these ones which has one two three and there's a wreath under there four and all these elements so you get three sheets of those and then you get three sheets of all the rectangle backgrounds 18 of them I'm telling you it's a good deal okay mm, I meant to go ahead and fold all these up so I'm not gonna do it on camera because it takes way too long I'll just do that one as I said that I was doing it I can go back and do that later so I'm just using glue dots to layer up my poinsettia I haven't found anything that it doesn't any kind of paper that it doesn't cut out really nicely some dyes are more finicky with certain papers I just have not found that to be the case with this die set and wait till you see the last card what I did oh it was so cool okay so I did leaves out of paper I kind of wish we had green velvet but really I guess we wouldn't really use it for that much and I don't really I haven't tried the felt has anyone tried the felt it looks good I'm doing both the leaves on one side oh actually I wonder if I even need leaves on this one let's look and see so we've got our peace and happiness we've got this so we might need to go this way I think I'm gonna I'm gonna leave the leaves leave the leaves that sounded funny okay I'm gonna pop this up look how quick and easy now uh, to be fair I already die cut them but these cards go together so fast and really if you sent this card to someone it would be a wow now yesterday I was getting everything crooked so I will attempt okay and this one I'm actually gonna put one of these in the middle just because it's velvet and it's kind of regal and these are pearls okay I'm gonna pop this up maybe I don't need to pop up this layer but I'm going to anyways hi Wanda it's a beautiful day here in Ottawa we went and got some mulch at the garden center and it was a, like a beautiful blue blue sky all right, I'm going to pull it a little closer to me because yesterday I put everything on crooked and not centered. Oh, see that leaf was hanging off the top. Okay, I'm not going to press really hard. I'm going to flip it up and look. I think it's a little bit this way. Sorry, it's hard to do it at the angle. I have to look for my camera that's good 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 now for the, the uh, peace and happiness I'm just gonna add glue dots to the bottom it's a nice small sentiment so it'll fit nicely down here that's a great the itty bitty Christmas is a great set to have all right so there's our first one with velvet now obviously you could have it more popped up than I have mine but it's already got quite a lot going on so I think it's good okay so that's the first one the second one is let's use the foil so I've gone ahead and done the backgrounds this one had the dainty diamonds this one has the subtle 
and the next one has the scripty. So I thought about this, I'm not sure. Let's put my poinsettia together and then we'll decide if I like it or not. I don't know if it's too much going on. That, but I did use a subtle embossing folder, so we don't have much going on in the embossing folder. Just a little bit of texture. This little one is so much harder, um, smaller than the rest. This is the trickiest one to get out. I will say you have to be careful. It does have two little pokey holes, but it's easy to rip it. I know that because I've ripped a few. I do have leaves for this one. I'm going to try one here and one at the bottom. So this is the gold and green foil. It comes in a package as a set. Hmm. I'm not sure, but I'm just going to go ahead and put it on here. I'm not sure if I'm crazy about it, but hey. Whoever gets this is going to think it's beautiful. Sometimes we're more critical of our card designs than for sure the person who's getting this beautiful handmade card is going to be. So you really just need to make sure that you get glue in the corners and a little few sections. So I've got my silicone mat, my little sponge. I'm going to go ahead and put this on. And then you can look at it and say, mm, yeah, I like that, or no, I wouldn't do that. And then you can do whatever you want for your cards. Got a little bit of extra glue there. All right, for this one for the middle, I'm gonna add one of these gold elements because I have all the gold going on here. I kind of like it actually. I'm gonna pop it up. My fingers are now all gluey. Hello, Kathy from Ohio. Well, thank you for joining me and thank you, Fran, for suggesting she join us. We do have fun. I come live every day at three. Well, there's a couple of times that I've missed, but I'm pretty, pretty regular about coming every day at three just to craft and share ideas. I don't think I've ever been to Ohio. There we go. Now, it would look nicer if I had taken the time to fold it all, but we get the idea. Okay, so we've got velvet. Now we have foil, and that was a save for later one. And the last one is just plain old cardstock. <laughs> it seems funny because cardstock is what we use the most. And I might try this one. So I've used the Scripty embossing folder. So to, the idea today was to take the same kind of idea I did yesterday, but add um, color. And I am going to take the time to fold this because it looks so much better. I should have done it before I started, but that's okay. It actually doesn't take that long to do. You can, yesterday I curled some and I did this with some. I prefer this look, personally. Let's see what we're going to do here. I think we'll use that one. We used this one yesterday. But it just gives it so much more depth when you do this. Okay, that didn't take very long. And I like to do the leaves as well. Now, maybe we won't need leaves with this one. We'll see. So let's go ahead and layer this up. Hello, Darlene. From Kingston. It's not very far from Ottawa. All right, here we go. Okay, so we've got that. Let's see if we're going to need any leaves. I'm just going to put it behind and see if I like it. I think I do want leaves. Obviously, I could go back and add Wink of Stella to this one, not these ones. 
Well, I've never added Wink of Stella to foil, but I really think that would be overkill. I think I do like the leaves. So on they go. But I am going to put one on the top, so it's kind of coming out where there's a little break here. But I also want to make sure that it's not going off the card. Yeah, I like that. And I think for this one, let's see, what are my choices? No. I think this one's going to get one of these gold gems. I don't even know if they're still available. It was from the Christmas Rose class. Is that what it was called? Something like that. All right, we're gonna bop, bop, not bop, pop. This set is absolutely beautiful. And yes, the Ontario weather today is gorgeous. It's nice and cool at night for sleeping. So you can take, open the windows. It's really, really perfect. All right, now we're gonna pop this up as well. If you're mailing this, you may not wanna pop up quite this many times, but I don't know, it's pretty, but I think it's pretty. For the last card, I'm going totally off my game. All right, this goes like this. Not off my game, but off of very vanilla. Let's put it that way. Is this how I had it before? All right. I always like to go back and give it a little. Now, once it's in the envelope, it's going to be flat. I get that, but it just makes me happy. Then I have my season's greetings. I think I'm going to go have to grab some more glue dots. Let's put it over here because this is in the way. We could put it here or here. I'm going for here. And I like this font because it's kind of scripty like the background folder is. You're going to need that for the next card, but not these. I thought about putting these ones on, which are nice. These are the new wonderful gems, and they are very wonderful. But they're not quite as big as that one, so I opted for that one. So here is our three with color. This one is way too flat for my liking, but I'll fix it later. Velvet foil, cardstock. And then here are the ones from yesterday, which is um, the metallics, and then very vanilla, very vanilla, with the elements from the Forever Gold Specialty Designer Series paper. All right, so now for our bonus one. Oh, thank you, whoever gave me that heart. I hope you're enjoying the cards. I certainly enjoy making them and sharing them with you. So there's six cards that we made yesterday and today. And my videos are only half an hour. So now I did, I do have everything prepped. So a couple of hours, you could make some beautiful cards. All right, for the last one, blue. Okay, wait till you see what I did. Just get all my pieces ready. Here was my first thought. I was trying all the different papers to cut out the poinsettia. I'm just going to slide all these little things off. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. So I took a piece of the this flocked paper. Is that what it's called? Plush. Plush poinsettia specialty paper. It comes in three different designs. So it's got one that has poinsettias, one that has leaves and berries, and this last one just has a beautiful design. Um, so I decided why not try to cut it out of this plush paper. So I did. And look, it's so pretty. It's so pretty. Anyways, so then I was trying all different things. I'm not usually a blue Christmas girl, but anyways, at first I thought 
I will try using one of these. These are the gold foil and you can flip them over and they're white. It would be really hard for me to use the white side. I don't know why. It doesn't make any difference. But so I thought about that. So I had the subtle folder. I had this and then I had my flower, my poinsettia, but it wasn't, wasn't doing anything for me. So then I tried some of the different gold ones flipped over, but I didn't like any of them. Then because it has all the little swirlies in it, I thought maybe the scripty folder will be nicer. So then I switched to the scripty folder. I'm just gonna fold this in half. This is balmy blue. Is it balmy blue? It's balmy blue, yeah. So balmy blue. Then I opted for the scripty one. And then because this is just so pretty and soft and feminine, and this one's gonna have a totally different look than the other ones. Well, no, it's gonna look the same, but you know what I mean. I took one of these uh, rectangles. Will these come in a set to buy? Do you mean a class to go? That could happen. I couldn't stamp anything though. Um, so then I took the rectangle from Stitch So Sweetly Dies, awesome set. So I used the biggest one. I heat embossed in white Season's Greetings from the Itty Bitty Christmas. And that's what I'm going to use. And then, oh, I can't wait to layer up all this other stuff. If you watch my videos, you know I love to layer up a gazillion little branches. I don't know, it would take me a long time to cut out for this class. But anything's possible, it's COVID time. All right, so let's line up this one. I am going to offer a Christmas class that's called All That Glitters, and it's going to be all um, Christmas cards with glitter and foils and everything. Okay, so there we've got that. Next is, oh my gosh, I've got glue. Let's put this together first. Now, you can see where the lines are. I don't know if it's gonna fold very well. Just let me try. Oh yeah, that's pretty good. This one is gonna be so pretty because I, as I was cutting stuff out, I caught a piece of this from the corner of my eye. I don't have this yet, but my friend, well, Shannon, who's in our part of our team, had given me, given me some. I have some on order. It should be, it's actually gonna be here Monday. Anyone who placed an order with me on Tuesday, it's coming on Monday. And I know a bunch of you ordered the poinsettia. Anyways, this blue glitter, it's part of the, I wanna say snowman suite. It's not called the snowman suite, but. Okay, that's good. All right, glue dots, second biggest. I think this one's gonna be my all time favorite. Like I said, I don't usually do blue Christmas cards. I'm kind of traditional. Well, I do like very vanilla and I do like like green and red. But I just, once I started on down this path, I was hooked. Okay, envision for a sec, I gotta grab more glue dots. All right, then what I did, I did cut out leaves originally um, out of vellum because I wasn't really sure what I was doing with it. You know me, I, when I do my Facebook Lives, I cut out all the pieces and then I figure it out on when I'm live. Okay, so here's what I started with. I thought, oh, we'll add a couple of vellum leaves. That's pretty. Then, I started cutting stuff out. So I have silver. These are the berries from the poinsettia set. I'm in love with them. And they're so pretty in every thing you could imagine. So I have silver. I have vellum. This one you had to be really careful when you're poking them out that you don't break them. I find when you poke this one out, it does have a little hole at the top to get it started and then you have to peel it back quite carefully. So I have vellum, 
I have two of each. And then the piece de resistance is, oh my gosh, is the glitter. I thought these would be the trickiest to cut, but these were actually the easiest. Hello, Pat. Just in time for my final wow card. I might be a bit longer today. Oh no, it's only 325. So we're doing, we're changing it up and doing a balmy blue. So we have our poinsettia put together. I was thinking of this for the middle, just because this is over the top. Well, not yet, but it will be. Okay, so I'm thinking no leaves. I don't know, we'll leave them here and decide. I've got um, rhinestones and little silver gems as well to add. All right, now we know we have to work from the back. Uh, from the front to the back. So I'm going to want the blue. <gasps> oh my god, it's beautiful already and I've only added one little thing. And I'm not saying it's beautiful, I just mean the color combinations are beautiful. You have to make 65? Hmm. Although the poinsettia is pretty quick and easy to do. Okay, so we've got some vellum and we've got silver. So what I usually do is kind of lay it out, see what I like, and I'm gonna go crazy with this stuff, just so you know. So blue, um, silver. Now, I do need to be careful down here because I have my greeting. So, usually I lay it out and then I pick up and then put it together. I might need to trim some of these so I'm not going off the card, but I do kind of like when it goes right down near the sentiment. I think that looks pretty. Does anyone else love blue Christmas cards? Like I said, I don't usually, but this might convert me. It's this glitter paper. That's what's doing it. Okay, I think that might be enough. That might be enough. <laughs> I'm gonna use up every single piece. Oh my gosh, it's just how I roll. All right, I think we can get that to work. So I'm gonna take that off. I'm gonna start, I'm gonna lift this up because I like how I have this layered. And I have to be careful of my greeting. So, and I want these not coming out of a, the end of a leaf. I want them coming between where there's a space. So I think that looks good. All right, so I'm just gonna start. It'll look yucky before it looks pretty. Oh, thanks, Minnick. It's the paper. And this, these two little dies, when I saw them in the Christmas, well, because if you follow me, you know I loved, I love, not loved, the, um, the fern bundle. Okay, then I'm just going by the layers I have here. Um, so when I saw these ones in the in the poinsettia set, it was like, oh my gosh, they're just so dainty and pretty. Now I'm using glue dots and I'm not pushing them really hard so that if I need to adjust, I can. I'm just gonna do a quick little, yeah, that's looking good. Oopsie. Oh no. I think I had this one next. If this doesn't make you want to buy the poinsettia paper, or not paper, the poinsettia bundle, I don't know what will. 
Hello, Patricia from Indiana. I love when we have people from places other than my little neck of the woods. Because my little neck of the woods is not very big. Okay, I think these other ones were from the other end. I think. Okay, a lot going on, but I like it. So down here, I think we had these ones first. All right, so I'm trying to remember which corner to put it in. So I got that coming up there and I'm doing exactly what I said I didn't want to do, but. All right, this one's gonna go here. I prefer to have it coming out between, like here, instead of right at a leaf or a petal, it's not a leaf. I'm just gonna take a second and put a little glue on this. because it keeps moving around. And as you know, you can see through vellum, but I have it right in the middle where my flower is gonna go. And I think I'm gonna pop up my flower, if you can believe it. So I don't want these going off the edge, but they're, I have them loose enough I can move them if I need to. And I want this fairly centered, which I haven't been doing a very good job of in my recent cards. All right, that looks good. Now I have more of an opening here. So I'm gonna start with this one. I might have to keep going back for these ones because I have the sentiment and I have the edge to worry about. And that one I want in a bit further. Yeah, more like that. All right, I think I had, I totally forgot what I had. Doesn't really matter. You just keep putting them on till it looks ridiculously pretty. And one thing about this um, plush vellum, you can't really see through it all these things I'm adding here, so that's a bonus. Okay, that looks good. Now I'm gonna add a piece of vellum. I'm almost done. But these cards are gonna be so pretty. So I've actually used three the same one. I don't typically do that. But, okay, we're looking good. And now I have two of the long ones. So I really want this one to be hanging by the greeting as close as I can get it without everything. And that's exactly where I want it. I might put a glue dot on here. Although I don't want it sticking yet to the bottom. See, I'm kind of doing it reverse. I'm putting this exactly where I want it and then putting this down. I'm trying to pick it up without it gluing down to here. Was I successful? Yes, I was. Okay, and then this one is going to go right close by it. A little bit of trial and error. Okay, I will say this one's close to the edge, but I think it's fine. Okay, so now I'm going to press all these down and make sure that they're on pretty securely. Then I'm going to pop this up with dimensionals, which I've lost. You guys are quiet today. There, that's kind of exactly where I wanted it. I think it's centered. I think it's on the card. These are all on the card. It's not over the greeting. Okay, I think it's good. All right, let's add this to the middle. I don't know, you could add something different if you wanted, but I think this is pretty elegant anyways and this card is definitely elegant you know me I don't like any leftovers one two three that one's a little bit might get a bit squished but 
Hey, it's all good. If I had one more blue one, I think I'd pop it in here. But I don't. I might after I get off camera, cut it one more. All right, now we're just gonna add a little bit of, not that it needs anything else, I don't think, but yes, we're going to. And I think I'm gonna go with these. And you could color them actually, balmy blue, but they, I don't know, the clear ones kind of pick up the color of the cardstock I find. I think that might be all it needs, guys. You know me, sometimes I have to say step away from the card. All right, what do you think? If you like it, give me a heart. And for sure, I don't think we need leaves. No, nope, no leaves required. All right, I'm just getting everything out of the way. So there's the blue one. I'll just leave it a second so we can get a nice shot for Facebook. Balmy blue. It's balmy blue, yeah. Um, and you could stick another little glue dot. I like when vellum kind of sticks up a little bit, actually, personally. So here's the other ones we did when we added vellum and color. And we did foil, we did velvet, and we did regular old cardstock believe it or not cardstock and then our wow card is the vellum and this is i'm pretty sure the glitter paper is also balmy blue let me just check balmy blue glitter paper so this glitter paper is also balmy blue and it is so so pretty all right, just making sure we can see them all. Okay, thanks for joining me today. Thank you, Kathy. Um, thanks for joining me today. Today is Friday, so I don't come live on Saturdays. And on Sundays, I come live at 7. So I hope to see you then. Thanks for joining me. I always appreciate it when you give me, um, if you like or share this video. It just helps me get seen by more people on Facebook. So I will be live Sunday at 7, and I'm not really sure what I'll be doing, but something fun and exciting. So I hope everyone has a long weekend. <laughs> a long weekend. <laughs> I hope everyone has a good weekend. It's not a long weekend, but I don't know. They all seem to blend together. I hope everyone has a good weekend, and I hope that um, you join me on Sunday or every day next week. I come live every day at 3, and I look forward to seeing you. Thank you, Darlene. So thank you and have a great day. I'm just waiting to see if there's any questions. Thank you guys. I'm glad you enjoyed them. I think the blue one's my favorite.